Hey team, Jason by Andrew here, and I just want to take you through a four week course going through some very simple yet very effective Muay Thai grappling techniques. I've got instructor Luke help, help me out today, and the first thing I want to touch on is maintaining that top control. It can be a tricky thing to do if you're more of the beginner level or even some of those advanced guys as well if you're not practicing it too often. Now remember the main key to a nice strong top lock is making sure that I'm not holding too low on the neck. Really want to make sure that my hands are nice and high. The elbows should be sitting around about on the collarbones with my hand locked onto that wrist. Without Luke there, this position here. You can see that if I'm on the back of his neck and he keeps his head up nice and strong, trying to get that pull down can be near on impossible. But if I can get those hands nice and high, now I can work on that nice strong leverage and be able to bring that head down in control. So once you get to your nice strong top lock position, I want to really try and bring the hips nice and square and bring my shoulders in and bring head in nice and tight as well. This is going to limit the gap between my elbows, so when Luke starts to try to do that position reversal, I'm going to use the elbows to shut him down. So as he changes, you can see I'm really controlling with the elbows. Alternatively, if he tries to come around the top, all I'm going to do is start to use those elbows to control around his shoulders, again the other side, and I can steer and control his body. The more he starts to fight, obviously the more he's going to tire, and I'm just going to use my body weight to really hold on. So again, as Luke tries to come through the middle, again, I'm shielding with those elbows, other side, elbows in nice and tight, he comes over the top, I'm using those elbows to control. If I get his body weight moving to my advantage, I can then use that to add in those turns, which we can counter with the knees and everything else as well. So just a recap for your team, from when you are grappling, take your time, remember it's not a strength competition, you really wanna be able to work together well with your partner so you can get a good feel. Elbows on the collarbone, hand on the top of the crown, and I want to bring that head in nice and tight and shoulders high, so I'm really starting to limit that gap between the elbows. As he tries to come through the center, we're blocking with the elbows, steering, controlling. If he comes around the outside, again, I can use those elbows to control and use that tipping body weight to my advantage for my turns as well. Thanks team, check out next week uh, when I show you some defenses when someone's trying to use that bridge position as well.